Hello. All right, can you guys hear me okay? All right, timer is started. So thank you all for coming to my talk. It's OpenStack in zero to 45 seconds, engineering at the speed of light, brought to you by OpenMetal. So just a little bit about who OpenMetal is. We're a relatively new company. Uh, we spun off from InMotion Hosting, uh, who's been in the traditional kind of web hosting business for uh, more than 20 years. We are a silver member and infrastructure donor for the Open Infra Foundation, as you saw. Uh, we were also nominated for a super user award. Um, very nice that folks do to recognize us for the work we're doing. Um, we do have a booth here if you'd like to come talk after the um, presentation. We're in booth B9 um, over by uh, the far door on that side of the uh, floor above us. So, as I'm sure many of you are familiar with, getting your OpenStack cloud together, it's not easy. It's not something that you can just do on a snap uh, in a lot of cases, unless you already know really well what you're doing. Uh, especially if you're, if you're trying to do a, a side project or some testing, you have to get hardware, you have to get your company to give you the approval, um, to get the resources to get your cloud set up, you have to configure that hardware, you have to set up all your software, um, you know, are you going to use Ceph for storage, you can use something else for storage, you got to set up OpenStack itself, you have to get OpenStack out, out, and then you get to do your work. So um, I don't know what your experience with OpenStack is, but I know for me, it's easily hours, weeks, uh, to get OpenStack set up before I can just do whatever it is I need to do. And it's hard to justify that kind of expense when you just need to run some tests for a week or a day um, or a couple days. Um, that's the kind of experience I want to talk about. And I want, I want to tell our story about how we've um, wrestled with this issue and how we've gotten past it. Because, um, you know, there's a lot of important work you have to do. So, like, you get a new OpenStack release coming out. You need to test it to make sure it's not going to ruin your public cloud or your private cloud. Well, do you have hardware laying around to do that? Do you have that budget for that? Do you have the budget for the time? Can you uh, go to your boss and say, yeah, just give me $100,000 so I can buy a, a lab in our data center that we're just going to run for, for a week for testing and throw it away um, afterwards? Um, I hope your boss always says yes, but I know for many people that's not, not a case or a world that we live in. Um, for us, though, we, um, we've been working on this solution for a year and a half to try to make OpenStack as simple and easy to deploy as possible. And we really are aiming to get it down to a single click. And we believe that if we can make Open, OpenStack as easy to use as like a public cloud, um, it'll really just unlock what you can do with OpenStack and the value you can get out of OpenStack. And then you can get everything together and get going and do your job and get on your way um, in true cloud fashion. Because um, if you may, I don't know if you've poked around the Open Infrastructure uh, Foundation's website, but some of their core values talk about um, for the cloud, it's about being able to provision resources without having to ask for permission or having to do a big complex thing. Um, that's what they uh, describe being the cloud or the true cloud experience as being. So I'm going to show you what we've been working on. We're just going to go through real quick um, our deployment process. It shouldn't take any, any time at all. So we've got these different hardware types. We start out with a hyper-converged cloud deployment, each um, hardware node. Uh, runs Ceph for storage, it runs a compute hypervisor, it runs control plane services. Uh, we're going to start with this one here in the middle. Um, the main differences are hardware specs, but that's not, not as important for, for the purpose of this demonstration. Um, really, I want to show you guys how we've gotten to that one-click experience um, for deploying Open, OpenStack. We'll go ahead and give it a name. We'll give it a public SSH key. So this cloud, it is going to spin up three boxes. They're entirely dedicated to this cloud. They have their own control plane. Um, you have bare metal access. That's why we got to put this SSH key in. Uh, we do have a trial system, so you don't have to put in a credit card um, if you're approved for that. And there we go. So what I've started doing is deploying a cloud. And in about 45 to 60 seconds, we'll have a ready to go, fully set up OpenStack cloud um, that the user can log into Horizon just right away. So we'll let that go, let that do its thing. Actually, it's done. So that's it. We have a full OpenStack cloud in a single click. And it's just right there. It's three boxes ready to go. And if you're done with the cloud, you can just delete it as simple, uh, as, simple as this, if I can type things correctly. And it'll go back, all the hardware will get cycled back. Um, we do have Horizon. Here's the Horizon login for that cloud. So 
this is the kind of experience that we wanted to offer and bring forward to OpenStack for users uh, to be able to get to OpenStack. And I just want to tell you a little bit about some of the things that we've been able to do um, when you can do this, when OpenStack is really as easy as just one click. So I know for our engineers, um, it's, been, it's been wonderful. I mean, when we have somebody come in and says, hey, I want to use OpenStack for this thing, we can get started right away. We can turn it around that same day and give them a cloud and put it in their hands and start testing, start benchmarking, stop, start profiling. There's no, uh, you know, oh, we'll get to you in six months. We got to order hardware. We got to uh, get the whole thing set up. Um, our engineers love being able to test out new services in OpenStack and uh, do configuration changes and test out things in a safe environment. Um, so let's say you want to uh, deploy a new service like OpenStack Manila for file sharing and you want to make sure it works and you understand it before you roll to your, your public cloud or your existing deployment. Um, that's something that, that you can do when you can turn OpenStack on in just a second um, and get it going. Uh, we've also tested new releases um, of OpenStack so that we can know it's going to be perfect before we roll it out to our customers. Um, just these are the kinds of things that, that we're connecting our engineers and that we want to share with the community, um, with all of you and your engineers, so that you can use OpenStack and do the things that you would love to do in an ideal world, but can't because of budgetary or hardware or other kinds of, of constraints. Um, one other advantage for this platform and this kind of approach to OpenStack is that you can have multiple clouds. So there's no more putting all of your eggs in one basket. I know one of the big features of the cloud is that it's supposed to uh, help you make your infrastructure into um, cattle, not pets. It's supposed to make it reusable. But I think the cloud's a little funny because if you have one big cloud that's running all of your assets, that's your pet. It's not cattle anymore. <laughs> You're just consolidating all of that risk into a single um, big unit, um, and when you can deploy multiple clouds, it's easy to start breaking up your workloads. You can have multiple customers on their own individual clouds or multiple business units on their own clouds, and you can really quickly um, meet your customers' needs, meet your team's needs without having to be bound by, oh no, we don't want to break production or break the big public cloud or big deployment that we have because um, we're scared of it. So if you'd like to try us out, you can check out our website. We do have a free trial. Uh, you can spin up a cloud. Uh, just like I did, and try it out for 72 hours. Um, it automatically goes back into our pool when that time elapses. You can also come talk to us at Exhibitor Booth B9, like I said. Uh, if you want to talk to me, this is me. I work for Open Metal. That's my email address, my LinkedIn, my Twitter. Happy to always connect people and talk about OpenStack or other things, not OpenStack. I also like philosophy, I, and I have a second degree black belt in Taekwondo. So, you know, I have other things that I'm, I'm into. Uh, but if you guys have questions, I'd be happy to take questions. This is the end of the, the presentation time, so yes. How about on-premise? So right now we are hosted. We'd like to do on-premise. We just haven't gotten there yet. Yeah. Our software solution is designed um, to be portable. Um, it's just a question of getting those development resources lined up. Um, we use OpenStack Bifrost to manage the hardware, so um, theoretically we should be able to use whatever hardware that Bifrost supports. And then, um, otherwise, we use op other open source tooling to deploy onto the bare metal systems. Um, yes? How does this differ from Starling X? So, Starling X, I understand, is more focused on edge computing and giving you that uh, full or like edge computing experience. I'm not familiar enough with their product to, to say the exact same things or like what the exact lineups are. Um, I know one thing that differentiates us from other competitors in this space is that we give each cloud a full dedicated control plane. So it is fully isolated from every other cloud in the system um, that's deployed. So I have six minutes left. Uh, do you have any other questions? Yes, sir. So how would you have additional projects So this um, interface here is for our higher level management system. Um, this is our Open Metal Central. And through the system, you could deploy multiple clouds. And each cloud just shows up with its own uh, management area. So the same way I just deployed that cloud I showed you, you could do 5, 10, uh, 15 clouds, however many clouds you want, um, and organize them through this interface. Um, that's how I would how I would spin up for um, doing testing or research. I mean, that's, that's how we as a team do it. 
um, every day. Um, to date, we've deployed almost 800 clouds through our system over the last 18 months. Um, almost all of those have been just testing, development, research, um, throwaway kind of clouds. I'm sorry, I, I, I think you, you, you didn't get me. Uh, how would you add additional components to this uh, or test it? Because uh, probably uh, this quick uh, deployment uh, has some predefined set of projects, like uh, Neutron, etc. But if you want to add... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I did misunderstand. Um, yeah, so you have full control of the boxes. Um, so you can log in and add Magnum or, um, I've, I've done this myself for um, some of our end customers. I've added, so we have a core configuration that includes um, the core OpenStack services and Magnum and Octavia, but I've added Manila, I've added OpenStack Zoom, I've added OpenStack Courier um, afterwards. Um, you can customize the deployment however you want after it's, it's been set up and deployed, because um, you have full access. And we use Kala Ansible for our deployment. Um, system, so all you have to do is just change your call Ansible configuration and rerun um, the deployment and it'll, it'll work. And there you go, you'll have your uh, cloud set up. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions about the, the presentation? I'm happy to take questions on other random things as well. We've got three minutes left. All right, well, thank you all for listening to the talk. Um, I hope you've come away with something interesting. We're really excited about this platform that we've built, and we really would like to share it with the community. Because, um, you know, we're the same kind of people as you are. We have the same kinds of challenges. And it's been a big help having this kind of flexibility and this flexible infrastructure. And we want to enable others to enjoy the same experience and flexibility that we've enjoyed um, building this platform. So uh, my name is Jaden. Um, I'm senior product manager, uh, but I do a bunch of other things too. It's complicated. Uh, but I'm over at the uh, booth today and through the rest of the, the summit. So thank you all. Thank you.